Hello, and welcome to another Red Hat whiteboarding video session. I'm Ian Tewksbury, an architect with Red Hat Consulting. I'm John Herlocker, a senior consultant with Red Hat Consulting. And today we're going to be talking about how you can take Red Hat Decision Manager and integrate it with your existing Spark job. So, John, I already have a Spark job that I can bring in data and run it through some filters. And then I can run it through some proprietary business logic that tags the bad-looking transactions. And then I run it through an AI model that then spits out some useful business data. And this is great, except for whenever we want to update this smart logic here for the tagging, we have to update Java code and go through an entire dev cycle. And it's a pain. So how can we improve this process? So we could use Red Hat Decision Manager, uh, formerly known as Red Hat BRMS. And Red Hat Decision Manager will allow you to separate those rules from your application's code logic. Um, and it also allows your developers and analysts to go in through the web-based UI and create and maintain rules. So the developers and analysts, are they using tools they're familiar with, or do they have to use new tools that they're not familiar with? How does that work? How do they actually build these rules? So there's a web-based UI option for um, that's specifically geared towards your business analysts. Um, and then there's also JBoss Developer Studio, which uh, your developers are going to be more familiar with. All right, so then what about testing? Can they actually test these rules there, or do they have to be taken over my entire Spark cluster to run their tests? So <clears throat> the testing can actually be done directly within uh, Red Hat Decision Manager. Uh, you can set up tests there, and you can also uh, integrate your uh, or run your JUnit test within JBoss Developer Studio. All right, so then once we have all of our rules built, uh, how do we get them in a place where our Spark job can actually use them? Typically, your administrator will come into Red Hat Decision Manager, and they will build and deploy the rules after all your tests pass. So is that like a command line based process? Is there a magic UI button they can push? Um, there actually is a button within the web-based UI, um, plus there's also a REST API available for you. So once the admin pushes the magic button in the UI to build those resources, where do they actually go? Uh, that jar file is stored within a Maven repository. All right, and so that's like something like Nexus that we probably already have laying around. Right. Well, that's great. So then once they're in our Maven repository, how does our Spark job actually access them so we can actually use these rules that the analyst made? Using the Rule Decision Manager uh, API, which is called Key, um, you can then call into the Maven repository to load those rules into your application's memory. So am I going to be writing like thousands of lines of code to be able to actually integrate my Spark job into my uh, Maven repository to pull those rules down? No, um, it's about 10 lines of code. So you could show us right now? Definitely. All right, let's make some room. Now that we have our Java sudo code on the board, John, can you walk us through how it works? Yeah, so these few lines of code up here are where we're loading up the business rules. Uh, the first line is the key services uh, that we're getting to actually use the key API. Um, the next line is where we set up the release ID with the GAV um, from the jar that we just created. So this is the group and the artifact name and the version that we all defined when the administrator pushed out those rules in the earlier example? Right. Um, and the last thing we're doing is creating a new key container with that release ID uh, to get the key base. And that key base contains all of your rules. So now me, as a Spark programmer, can take those rules and broadcast them out using my existing Spark context. And then later on down in my Spark job, in a point where I've got a transaction, I can run my rules against that transaction and return that result. And I've just replaced all that business logic I used to have in there with a few lines that are now referencing those rules that analysts control. That's, that's really powerful. So if I wanted help doing this, what could I do next? You can contact your existing Red Hat account executive for a discovery session or go to redhat.com services to learn more about our training and consulting.